Hi guys, it's Shishkabobber1 coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Today's video, guys, we're talking about rockets. That's right, we got rocket launchers on Mini Bobber's account. It's been a bit slow. I've been really busy in real life, still trying to get out of Canada. Hasn't quite happened yet. In fact, we got the lovely fall cusp, guys. Check this out. Probably used to seeing a green leaf. There's nothing, nothing too important about that. Then you get yellow leaves like like this guy, a little bit folded. And then we get our lovely, our lovely red colors right here. Anyway, fall is upon us, and just like the leaves are falling, we're going to take down some ERs. We're going to make those ERs fall. Uh, yeah, what was I doing, guys? We're taking a quick look at Mini Bobber's uh, Crazy Tech Tree. Uh, we still don't have smokes. Um, we've maxed out our ice so far. We're 50-50 building damage and uh, building health. Uh, shock launchers are rank 4. Spawn rank 4. Uh, troop health rank 1. We do have max troop damage. Uh, we're going the southern route down here, um, and we've got rank 3 rockets. We just unlocked the, uh, the multi-mode right above it, giving us our fourth rocket launcher. Why can't I hit anything? There we go. Um, and there we go. I'm not quite sure how we're going to keep progressing. Uh, I'm not going to go back. I never took the first southern route. Where is it? Down here. I never went this way. I never went to Brick. I never went to get the boom cannon and all this on this account. So it's been a bit rough until now. Um, so I guess that's the point of this video, guys. Let's see how powerful these rockets are. Um, I know some of the guys higher up have them, but down here, right at the legendary rank, um, I'm the only one so far that I've seen with even three. Now we got four. Okay, uh, we do not have Seekers. Um, keep that in mind. So we just gotta move quickly with our rifle ramps. Oftentimes these require split dropping. So that is what we will do. Uh, let's see, 3.5 or 2.6, I'm talking about rifle gramps, 3.5 rifle gramps or 2.6 rifle gramps. It just depends how many drops we want to do. Um, I think we'll just go 2.6 and let's let it rip, ladies and gentlemen. Let's gonna do a split drop, just a single split, meaning there's two drop locations, one, two, three, and four. Okay, turn that volume down just a smidge. All right, we got guys doing their thing. Looking good on this side. Let's go ahead and get this side going. Johnson, Gramp, Gramp. Need to be a bit mindful of the mines, and we don't want Kavon to run across for any reason, so we've got to make sure that the troops in front of him are taking damage. If not, he will run like a madman. Um, now, where things are going to get a little bit curious are all these dang mines over here. I know it. Okay, uh, med kit would definitely be nice to keep a couple of those Johnsons alive. At least while we get through the mortar. Okay, probably not the best drop, guys. But let's let's have faith in the base too. We can't forget that uh, our base is pretty wicked. Let's drop one med kit down for these mines over here. Um, we got a second wind on tap. I don't really care about those gramps that are on the right anyway. We need to just go ahead and flare up. Get that second wind going. Get a second flare out. And another second wing because we got Kavon in right in front of that cannon and Kavon's down. But I think we'll be okay. Time's still looking okay. Uh, we definitely want to get a med kit on some of these injured gramps, especially the ones taking shocks. We're just going to do a Hail Mary flare here at the end. Flare in hand. Flaring. We're going to have to cycle that flare once just to be sure. Cycling and raining artillery, guys. Boom, 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 and boom, just like that. Let's see, can he get me in 219? I don't know. We got a new dirty base. New dirty base on the waters, guys. New dirty ship. Um, well, you know what? His time's looking pretty good, but these rockets are looking pretty nasty as well. Will these Seekers get through? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. Oh, they did get through. They did get through, guys. Well, ugh, can't win them all, huh? That's another point, though. I want to mention um, Seekers with Smoke, guys, are very strong. Um, really considering going back to unlocking Smoke on Shishkabobber to play with those Seekers. But that's not the point of this video. Let's see what he did with those rockets. That's really unfortunate that the first fight we have was a stinking loss. And, of course, I hit my replay. Why is it so confusing? You think we would have figured it out over all this time, huh? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we... Lily will do here. Okay, doing a flare drop on the left rim. Working it, working it. 
trying to stay away from those rockets as much as possible. He is in range now. How are those mines doing? So yeah, pretty good. The rockets were definitely a pain. But he secreted me, guys. And he did a good job of it. I guess he's sneaking them in right about here. Yep, here they come. Those rockets are absolutely massively destructive. Now you see, what I don't have is boom cannons and another proto, or a proto for that matter. So the Seekers were able to get through all of that and uh, put some final hurt on the ER. There just wasn't enough covering Seekers on that side. Hey, you can't protect it all. Let's jump into another battle, shall we? We can't go out like that. Okay, uh, I know this guy also has Seekers, I believe. I saw him use them earlier. Okay, and I think he's a fellow YouTuber. It's Alfredo. How's it going, man? Big shout out to you. You kicked my butt earlier on Shish Kebabber, so I'm kind of kind of afraid here on Mini Bobber, I'll be honest. Um, well, I guess, I guess the thing to do is just to get through all that junk over there. That's a ton of junk. No, we need to just split drop this. Okay, let's go like this. One, two, three, and four. Let's get come on out. <clears throat> We're gonna try something a little different. Probably gonna die a horrible, horrible death. Get the high drop going now. Just wanna make sure we got enough for a second win. There we go. Second wind. I don't want come on to die. We don't have smokes, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's see a nice little ginger flare over here. I don't know what the ginger flare is, but that's what it is right there, guys. Gingerly flaring, I suppose I should say. Carefully. Just want to hit the right spot. I kind of want them to fan a bit. There we go. Another second wind. But yeah, we're already down, guys. That's 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 the problem I see here. Okay, moving in. We need to get a couple machine guns down before we do the hail mary. We'll do a second wind on the hail mary. Get that machine gun down. It's down. Hail mary. Following with a second flare, now, and rain, that another, rain down that artillery. And the birds are laughing at me. And boom, just like that, I know we got taken to Pound Town. Let's see how bad it was. And you know, that's the joy of these, uh, of warships, guys. It's quite a grind this season. Oh my goodness, look at that time, 314. Well done, sir. Yeah, he was smoking them up earlier, the, the uh, Seekers. Let's see him rip through this base. Going 4-4 four, four, split drop. Try to get both sides covered here. There's the smoke. This is what I mean about the smoke, guys. Uh, seekers with some troop health and some troop damage and some smokes. Pretty dang effective. I can't imagine what'll happen when you get uh, shock bombs. I have been having troubles with Seekers following flares. Um, I guess we should mention that real quick. Yeah, it's a slight bug that I've noticed. I'm sure you've noticed it too. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, guys. They will... Um, they follow flares after a few, on a few different occasions. Um, one is like, it appears that right after their shock, if there's already an active flare and the shock expires on them, they will seek the active flare. Um, same thing goes on a drop. If you have an active flare and then you drop the seekers, they're actually gonna path towards that flare and then when the flare expires, then they just run in a straight line from that point. Uh, that can be really bad if you're trying to get fancy with your drops. And I guess the third point is, again, if you have an active flare and um, Kavan does his second wind, those second winded Seekers will also follow the active flare. So keep that in mind when you're playing with the Seekers, but this is not a Seeker Tech video. In fact, one of the reasons you haven't seen a Seeker Tech video from me is because of these dang flares. Uh, I've been having a hard time just getting a good feel for them and just getting frustrated with the stupid flare bug. Um, it's like that, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. All right. Uh, arrow. Yeah, with these, uh, usually split drops are the best, and um, he doesn't really have any boom cannons. What are the stats? Uh, he's got, what is that, 30% on the damage, and of course 50 on the health. We know that. Everyone's got 50. 
Uh, yeah. All right, let's do something crazy like this. Let's go Gavon with two grams over here. Probably the slowest way I could possibly do it. Here's one flare. I'll give you a second wind already and a second flare. Okay. Now we'll start working on this side. Let's go two gramps over here. Some Johnson's running up this way. Two gramps over here, and we'll get some Johnson. I don't really care if we lose Johnson to the first sniper tower. Doesn't really bother me. What does bother me is mines. Let's get rid of any mines that could cause problems to our lovely, lovely gramps. We could do a second wind. Not really sure what that's gonna do for me. Um, get rid of this mine, this mine. Maybe a med kit. Keep that shock launcher occupied. I'm gonna need another med kit. Um, let's just get rid of this mine. And get ready for the Hail Mary flare. Second wind. Hail Mary. And second Hail Mary with an artillery on top. Wait for it, guys. Boom. Minute 30. Is that fast enough? I'm not sure. Oh, it was. He couldn't even get all the base. That's what we wanted to see. The power of the rocket launchers. Let's check it out. Oh, he's trying to go Seekers. He's got three on the right. Let's go double time. Three on the left. The rocket's getting some work in. Well, a little bit. I'm guessing he didn't quite have the Seeker stats. Here comes Kavon. Here comes two more boats and his second wind spam. And he's... Oh, man, he got close. Just gassed out. All right, let's jump into one more attack. Does that push us back into Legendary? That's good. We're just floating right back and forth. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I can do something a little fancier. Why do I don't have a feeling this guy is going to destroy me? I think because he already has. Uh, this is a very standard design that we see. I'm actually running a design similar to this on Shishkebobber. Um, we know how to hit this. It's ugly, and we, it still requires a bit of luck. Um, we need to run 3-5 rifle ramps. Everything comes from the right ramp. All right, uh, I'll start with a flare drop down here. Go like this. Get Kavon out. Okay. I should have held on to one more boat of gramps. That was a mistake. High drop on the rifles. Second wind. Get some mines cleared. Get that boat of gramps out on the high drop. Following with a second high drop of rifles. Another second wind. Clear some more mines. Hopefully. All right, I know there's junk way down here, but this is how you deal with it. This is at least one of the ways I know how to deal with it. Put a med kit up in front, try to save some of those Johnsons. We've got a second wind on the way. We also got some more Johnsons on the way. Med kit over here for these gramps. Let's take out some of these mines that are in front of them. Move up. Okay, things are looking good. Now for the ginger, gingerly done flare. Right down here, I, again, I want to get a split, guys. I want to get a split, which is probably about here. One more flare and a second wind. That should do it. I know we're getting shocked. Okay. Shocking's not good because it wastes time, of course. You know that. Alright, we've only got two gramps that went up top. It's hoping for a little bit more. Just have to Hail Mary it. There we go. A couple artillery, secondary flare, one more artillery. And not the best time, guys. Yeah, I really gotta work on that transition after we take that shock launcher. But you know what? I only see one engine room down. That took them a while. What happened? 
Or did he just really sit there and think? Oh no, he's he's having problems. He appears to be missing a lot of his troops. <laughs> Can't wait to see this replay. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up after this. Um, Might take a while, though. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what your plan for Warships is, how it's going this season. Um, it's been a very different season, I can tell you that. It's been a lot of what I predicted, which was just rifle gramps all the way, and now we got Seekers kind of into the mix, but it's pure base race. Um, not really my full cup of tea, I like more diverse seasons. Um, but it's still interesting, you know? It's still interesting to see how these things unfold and to make those tech choices. Um, I'm a big proponent of rockets. I'm sure I'm not going to be the only one <laughs> sporting rockets. And maybe, just maybe, when we get rockets and we get the next ice, we might enter a rush meta, maybe? I, I honestly don't think so, but it's, it's possible. It's possible. If you guys make some really nasty bases, maybe we can't free clear them anymore, but uh, I still think free clears are on the menu all season long. Okay, come on. Or full clears, I should say. Um, yeah, yeah. Second wind. Always good. Always good. Get some of those Johnsons back. Oh, yeah. I wish we could see this in, like, fast forward or something, huh? Oh, I guess I got another announcement to make, too. Uh, I am now officially in the NBA, uh, the group of... YouTube content creators that Supercell uh, kind of endorses, so you should be seeing my videos more commonly in the boombox now, so that's really cool. Big shout out to Rick C for helping me uh, get in there, and uh, let's take a quick look at that replay, shall we? Okay, what happened, HR Skag? Okay, you go on one rifle and five gramps with a delayed motor rifles, flaring in, secondary flare those rockets hurt man yeah the rockets are really just eating up his gramps he lost a bunch of them just flaring in under the shock and on all those rockets it's just not very pretty um yeah he pretty much lost them all right there so that's what happened we saw the rest already so i think we're gonna wrap it up right there guys but as always I hope you have a super fantastic awesome rest of your day and remember be kind to others because if you're not you're just being mean and mean people suck have a great day.